All right, and welcome everyone to BAF's Autumn Fiesta. I am Ethan, and I'm joined by no one, because I'm solo commentating. Uh, <laughs> kind of unfortunate, but I'll make do with it. And we've got a pretty cool matchup. Two United players from the United States. It's going to be Aurora versus Ethelux. This should be a pretty nice match, to be honest. With Aurora probably being better at the more higher-end stuff, and in my opinion, Ethelux might be having a bit of an edge on the accuracy picks. I definitely think this match could be a close one. Oh, Jander joined, yay. I am not alone anymore. Hey. And they're already on the warm-up. <laughs> Alright, so I was doing something that was obviously very productive. Yeah, just got a standard warm-up. I believe this is Aurora's warm-up, because Ethelux actually said in chat that he has a custom warm-up that he wants to show off, but I don't think it's in time, so we might not see it. Uh, that's unfortunate. I don't know. I hope he got it eventually uploaded. I was actually, like, I was wondering if he was mapping before playing, because I saw him, my friends was like, why is he submitting a map? Are you mapping before that's, his match? That's the ultimate <laughs> flex, it's just spend your time mapping or modding instead of practicing. I think he said in the chat that he actually got to work. Oh, did he? Okay, that's good. <laughs> Wait, I think this is the map actually, because <laughs> the difficulty name. Oh. <laughs> just noticed. Hey, Aurora, I wish I could hear the audio. Probably got some thing in it. <laughs> Sounds like a pretty normal song for now. Yeah, I, I think I can hear it from the uh, Discord stream. Oh, I have Discord oh stream muted. Oh my <laughs> god, what is this man? Is this one eighth? That. Yeah, that's one eighth, I think. That is brutal. Yeah, uh. I uh, I usually have Discord streams muted. I did not realize this one had audio. Oop. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's all right. Okay, this is the last match of the weekend. There were two sweeps earlier, so now there's like six, seven O's. Oh God. I mean, that's what's gonna happen on the first week of Swiss, to be honest. There's gonna yeah. be a lot of just sweeps and stuff, unfortunately. In the next weeks, it'll definitely be way more close maps. Uh, maps I maps. would be, yeah, I'd be really surprised if there were more than like maybe two or three sweeps next week. Wait, is this a warm up? <laughs> this for a warm up? All right. Someone's flexing today. Isn't this like four minutes? No, this is a, a two minute version. If there oh. is a four minute version. Oh wait, no, it is actually two minutes. I keep on thinking this is way longer than it actually is. When you're <laughs> playing it, it just feels like an eternity. Uh, <laughs> Alright, so I have a feeling Aurora is just flexing right now. <laughs> yeah, poor Ethelox is not having a great time with this. Understandable, this map is kind of dumb. Okay, so currently the top eight players uh, have swept. Oh, I have Lex isn't playing anymore. Yeah, I don't think I would either. <laughs> I get 70% act on the warm up, I just quit. Uh, you have to conserve your energy a little bit. Dang, Aurora is doing pretty well though. I think this is Yeah. Pretty good. Oh god, here's like the death streamy parts. Yeah, this is the really dense part. God, this map is like a workout. Oh, oh you did miss. <laughs>
Yeah, I don't need to go to the gym. I play uh, The Limit Does Not Exist about five times a day. <laughs> yeah. I, I played the... If you ever played, like, The Emperor and actually try to play through the whole thing, you your arms will feel awful afterwards. <laughs> Are you talking oh, about yeah. the one that was in uh, EGTS Grand Final? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Dude, I, I, I feel bad that you had to practice that. I feel bad you had to practice that for like a week. I swear to God, I, I, I start sweating like a pig afterwards. It's awful. <laughs> Just practices one night. It's like, alright, that's the, that's the only map I'm doing today. <laughs> yeah, basically. Pain. Alright, now we go into the rolls. Oh wait, did they already roll earlier? Oh, okay. I think they warmed, uh, uh they rolled before warm up. Yeah, that's what it looks like. Alright, well, I guess we're just hopping straight into the match. Oh, no, roll, roll on the three! No! Oh, that's no. unfortunate. Hey, were you there when uh, there was a 1 and a 100 roll? That is legendary. I wish I was there. Yeah, that was uh, between Hirok and Gustav. Hirok rolled a <laughs> 1, Gustav rolled a 100. That's the first time I've ever seen that. I dude, I've never seen that. I've seen like one, like one differences where it's like sixty eight and sixty seven and stuff, and even ties. Yeah, yeah. I've never seen two like complete opposites. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what the odds are for that exactly because there's only one possibility for one in one hundred, but there's quite a few where it's one off. Oh, Ethelux is banning first, and Aurora can choose to pick first or second. Oh, interesting. He's going for ban order. Yeah, I don't know. You sh I Wait, Aurora's going like for second picking. pick. This is interesting. Oh. Both players are opting for, like, the le less common option, I'd say. Yeah, usually I would say it's an advantage to pick first and ban second. Because banning second lets you see what your opponent is going to do, and picking first gives you a bit of momentum. And Fremont 3 is going to be taken off the board by Aurora. And Athletic's going to be banning Hard Rock 2. And Aurora's a pretty good Hard Rock player, so it definitely makes sense to ban Hard Rock against him. Alright, it's... Oh, Hard Rock 3 is not a valid ban, I'm pretty sure. Oh, uh, so I should probably tell the ref. Because you can only <laughs> ban from, uh, you can only ban one map from each mod bracket. Oh yeah, wonder if it'll change his ban to them. Yeah, wait. Someone should tell the ref. That <laughs> would sure. be an idea. <laughs> yeah, like. Uh... Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So I guess the yeah, knows what to pick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the banning rules is that you can only ban one map from each uh, mod bracket, except for no mod. So you can ban two maps from no mod. Hmm, yeah. If you can't do hard rock, he might do hidden or n maybe no mod? I don't know, actually. Yeah, that can be hard to say. I, I don't know, I think free mod isn't like... Terrible option if he's afraid of the hit hard rock. Maybe even a DT ban if he's not confident in full comboing, maybe. Because Roar can't combo uh, games in yeah. DT. Yeah, so. Yeah, DT3. Like, <laughs> oh, DT3. <laughs> At the looks, you've made me very angry. Okay, I see, uh... <laughs> you made the right choice in ba on the ban phase. Or maybe the wrong choice, because you rile him up, and then he's just <laughs> filled with adrenaline, and he just <laughs> double S's everything he plays. Oh no. Or it does the opposite effect, it just makes him miss. Yeah, tilts it. <laughs> Fremont 1 is an interesting choice. I thought he would go for a hit it or something. Oh, wait, they're already starting? Okay, well, I guess they're getting their mod cause very quickly. Aurora with hidden Whoa. hard rock and Tesla just hidden. That was a very quick start. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, you love to see it. Hidden Hard Rock is interesting on this. Some people have done very well, others have done less well. Despite the mod band is gonna keep things pretty close at the beginning. Hitting maybe a little bit early at points. Hopefully that won't be a problem going forward. Yeah, Athlos gonna drop a 100 on the slow section, but. You got some pretty solid accuracy. Aurora dropping a lot of 100s. He's gonna need to keep up this full combo to keep up the score lead. It all might just like say that, bro. Come on. I'm sorry, Aurora. He said he's gonna watch the VOD. He's gonna hate me in like an hour's time. Oh man, that's perfectly timed. But as long as he climb back up to 98.5%, he should be able to recover from that miss. Yeah, it's still fairly close. A mod advantage really helping out Aurora. Yeah, he has to be really careful hitting very early, actually. He's, yeah, he's really struggling on some of these streams. Well, Ethel X, Ack Gamer at 99.93. Yeah, I said this earlier, Ethel X is kind of an Ack Gamer, to be honest. Still hovering around mid 97%. I'm not sure if that's going to be enough to really come back. Still fairly close. Ethelex able to keep up the lead. Getting into the last section of the map. Yeah, that's a very impressive score. It's just on, I think, 1 100. Yeah, it's only 1-100. We're getting to one of the more intense streams of the map, though. He's still keeping up a really solid score. Aurora dropping Ack. Yeah, you can Aurora. see the score getting closer, but every 100 he gets, it just shits right back. Oh no, but Ethel is dropping a miss at the very oh end. Oh my god. That, that's gonna flip it over, I think. Is his accuracy too good, actually? It I might don't know. He just missed like, gonna, a single note. He only he only missed one note. It might actually not flip over. There's not enough map left. Oh my god, it, yeah. He's gonna take it still. Oh my god, hundreds. Me dropping hundreds. Okay, he's still gonna keep Oh my god, he's the Oh my god. You're giving me a heart attack. Don't do that to me. Two one hundred. What is that accuracy? Minutes. What is that? What is that? What is that? You are <laughs> What a god. Wait, what was it you are? What is his UR? I need to see this. 85! Alright. That's pretty that good. 83? I don't need- th that's insane. He's gonna- alright, he's gonna take his first pick. Really close map. He definitely was, like, relying on Aurora missing there. And yeah. Aurora's instantly gonna go for Hardock 3. Kinda understandable, to be honest, as, uh... Ithlex did try to ban it, and it wasn't bannable. <laughs> yeah, that's a, <laughs> I think a kind of an obvious pick. Ethelix, to my knowledge, does not play a lot of hard rock. Yeah, he's more of like a nomad slash hidden player, from what I uh, have seen. This is a lower BPM hard rock pick, so maybe Ethelix will just be able to act game his way out of this one. Yeah, 192 is not too bad compared to the 220 BPM for hard rock 2. Oh, 
Oh, Ethelux though, pick up the first drop. Getting a hundred and a miss right there. Right at the end of the stream too. Yeah. This is quite a short map as well. And Aurora is still holding that SS. It's like decent-ish accuracy, so definitely flip over if Aurora starts missing. Aurora's gonna drop the SS. But he's like, so you need a lot of misses. Actually, Aurora's starting to drop a little bit of accuracy. Yeah, any little bit helps here, honestly. Oh, Aurora's accuracy is kind of dropping just a bit, and Ethelux's accuracy is climbing as that's happening. It's getting closer, actually. Oh my god, especially This after is... Oh, wait, that oh my, that accuracy drop for Aurora, that's gonna make this extremely close. It's just coming down to that miss from earlier from Ethelux. If Aurora drops even more accuracy, it could honestly flip over. Oh my god, Scorby 2 gaming. Dude, Scorby 2 moment. You'd love to see it. Oh my, Aurora's still coming out! He's putting down the Mr. Ethelux! Yeah, I think that's gonna be a little bit too much, but... His accuracy is still really good, despite missing twice. Yeah, if he didn't miss... Oh my... That's still so... That, that accuracy is so solid. That's so unfortunate that he missed. I'm pretty sure he had more misses than hundreds, actually. <laughs> Oh, Aurora! Don't! Oh, oh my god. god. Aurora, don't do this! Aurora, you're giving me a heart attack. Don't- <laughs> Why are both oh, these players god. just constantly dropping a ton at the end, please? Oh, Aurora's gonna take that face. point. Oh, oh you were god. almost correct. 4, 100 versus 23, 100. 75 yards- okay. Ithalux, you need to stop. That is illegal. It's just- Barely taking each other's picks. This is a this is gonna be a very close match. I think it's gonna come down to just who runs out of picks first, potentially. Yeah, dude, I don't think either of them really have a lot of picks right now. The luck's gonna be oh, and it looks obvious for Nobod one. All right, Nobod one time. Yeah, this is definitely a pick that would favor at the Lux. He's shown to just not drop 100s, unless he's, like, not comfy with the pick at all. Yeah, this is always kind of a scary map, though. This is a very scary- I've seen some of the match results for this map. It, so many people have, like, SS'd it. And just, I say, it, like does drop to 100 instantly. Yeah, uh, hopefully it won't, uh... If that affects yeah, yeah. them- that would be so unfortunate if that's like just the end of it. It's like, oh, oh, good no mod one. Yeah, just losing it the first five seconds. <laughs> I've had that happen before. Just drop five one hundreds in the first like ten notes and like, oh, GG. Oh god, yeah, that's awful. Especially if you're playing hidden. Oh wait, you're right. You're right. I don't really do <laughs> I was about to say. <laughs> I yeah. Hidden is a modification that I do not play. <laughs> you know what? Yeah. I say that I did beat Aurora on a hidden pick in the convert in a that convert tournament. Oh dang! That was really funny. That was super entertaining. <laughs> That's incredibly hype. But yeah, he had better accuracy than me. I just literally complicate. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think like combo gate zone and Taiko. That's good. Oh, but yeah, Eflex did drop another hundred. I think. Pick does favor Ethelix, but it seems like Aurora is taking the early act lead. The first half, he's stalling out SS. Ethelix not far behind at all. If anyone gets a little bit nervous and just happens to get 100 on a one pattern, it'll flip over. Yeah, this map can definitely be scary, especially with the really high general skill level of the players in this tournament. Yeah, it's like, everyone in here is at least like rank like 450. Yeah. Anyone can play good on these maps. And whenever you, especially whenever you're playing something like Nomad 1, where it's like, it just comes down to just those few 100s. It's definitely a very spooky pick. Or yeah, still holding that SS. 
Oh my god. I would feel so bad for Ethel X if he does end up losing because of that. Oh no. That is gonna be a very good start for Aurora though, if he can get this early break point, but it's looking like it's gonna go over to him. Let's see though, this one of the last rooms of the map. Nothing seems to really be changing. And I think that's gonna be it, unless he chokes me at the end somehow. Yeah, these I mean these players, they've they've been kind of uh They've been slacking on Act towards the end of the map, so... A bit worried, but it looks like Aurora's gonna actually assess this! It's not really anything hard left, it's just basic patterns. And yeah, Aurora SS's to win the pick! For SS first break point of the map. Oh, three 100s actually, not two. Very close map. No, apparently chance. Aurora <laughs> is going. <laughs> Guess like that's a, a PB. No. Oh, no mod two speed pick. Uh, speaking of SS maps, yeah, this has also seen quite a few ties actually. Oh no. Wait, did Aethelox have lower UR? Oh no. Uh, yeah, it might have been <laughs> an awesome UR. Issue. Uh, no. Oh no, that's so unfortunate. Well, it's still plenty of time, and this map can also be pretty swingy. Yeah, this is a. Yeah, it's like a best out of 13, I believe, so we got quite a bit of maps left to go. Yeah, there's been like two or three ties on this today. Oh no! Alright, well, we might be seeing a tie again. Yeah, we might be here for a while. We might be here for a while, boys. What are the rules whenever it is a tie, actually? Uh, so, the first time you tie, you will replay the map. And if you tie a second time, then that map will be nullified, and the person who picked the map will pick another map. And then just hope you don't endlessly tie until you have zero maps in the pool. Yeah, it, if you theoretically have like a last three maps scenario, right, where you have no mod one, no mod two, and no mod five, you could just keep on repeatedly tying on the maps in the triangle. <laughs> Fortunately, that hasn't happened yet. Thank God that has not happened. This is the last match, so hey man, maybe it'll change. <laughs> yeah, Please maybe. Please don't change that. I do not want to be here for three hours watching yeah. someone play a no mod one. <laughs> Endlessly. But he's holding some solid accuracy so far. Seems like both players are holding strong on the first key eye. Flux seems to be a little bit less stable on this side. Oh, but he does score a hundred there. Oh no. We're gonna SS two maps in a row. That would be quite a statement. That yeah, that is quite the flex. the hardest section done, and Eflux is still losing because of that 1-100. Oh no, Aurora might just SS this again, but I don't want to call it a bit too soon. There is a little bit of map left. Still one more ki -ai. Still one more ki -ai, but Aurora's looking hecka consistent in this map and the last one. Well, nothing's changing. Ethelix holding on for a chance at Aurora dropping. Aurora got really close to 100 there. Oh but... no, I just saw that, yeah. Oh, and again. 
funny. Oh it's my, so Aurora. It's so and that's pretty much it. Oh my god. What a monster. What a robot. I would not be confident enough to play both those maps in a row and that's us both of them. <laughs> what a monster. Two SS's in a row. And he just wins by just a couple of hundreds. Ethelux with some insane consistency, but just... It's hard to compete when your opponent just SS two maps in a row. Yeah, a bit unfortunate for Ethelux there. One 100 would be enough to beat quite a few people, but not Aurora. Oh, yeah, Aurora did actually beat the pluses a lot of there. Around 80 to 90. Alright, Eflux is probably going to have to leverage his accuracy on a slightly harder map, like Hidden 3 is a great example. I don't know, 140 BPM. <laughs> I don't think I've seen Aurora play a lot of slow hidden maps. I'm yeah, sure actually. This could be interesting, because Aurora is good at normal hidden and speed hidden, but I haven't really seen him try uh, slow hidden too much. Well, just in before, he just SS's the third map in a row. He just keeps on SS'ing. Oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> Duh, unfortunate. Epilux really needs his point, though, and it's looking to be a pretty close one. Most players dropping quite a bit of accuracy. This is gonna really depend on the 1-6 and 1-8 sections we've seen in previous matches. Pretty close, Aurora dropping a miss near the middle of the map. This map's just under two minutes long. You can't be oh, afraid that. But Ethelux also dropping Aurora with lower act though. I think they got a similar amount of misses. It's just coming down to that accuracy that's keeping Ethelux in the lead. Yeah, this is, this is gonna be insanely close. Aurora seemingly dropping a bit more accuracy than Ethelux. Ethelux dropping up, or going up to 98. Aurora about to go up to 97. This drops a little bit right after. This accuracy is carrying Ethelux so hard right now. Oh my god. Oh my god, yeah. 98 to 97. Alright, now it's pretty much just as long as Ethelux does not choke massively on the last one Oh, well, he does act up a little, but he doesn't That's miss, enough. and Ethelok's gonna confirm that point, 3-2. to two. Aurora's still favored, but Ethelok's is coming back into this match just a little bit. He does need a break point, though. He's gonna need one soon. Aurora's gonna be going in for Nomad 4. Oh, that's interesting. I'm not too yeah, sure... I'm not too sure how good Ethelux is on gimmicks, but if he can maintain his level of accuracy, then it's looking like it might be a big point. Yeah, actually, if he's able to maintain that level of accuracy on gimmick picks, I could totally see a breakpoint happening. I'm assuming that if you're not banning it, then you can play it, but some people have not banned it and have gotten really bad scores on it. <laughs> I think it's- oh, Aurora! Oh no! Oh, that is not a great start. That's what Thankfully, we call tactical miss. Yes, <laughs> that's the tactical miss for nerves. At least it's at the very, very beginning. So, at least he's got that going for him. That is going to give Ethelux an early lead. Although their accuracy is actually tied. Alright. First... SV section. Yeah, 
that Korra tried to ban this map, but actually banned it one three instead. Oh my god. <laughs> That's pretty unfortunate. That is amazing. I think I've done that before once. It's uh, <laughs> so whatever the pool format slightly changes, like between Nomad Two and Nomad Three, like every other tournament, it's different. It's like, oh, Nomad Two is a tech map. No, it's actually the speed map in this tournament. Yeah, that's why I always keep a copy of the spreadsheet next to me. And uh, as yeah. I say, Ethan Lux is really act gaming right now. He is. Yeah, he's absolutely act gaming right now, and he's keeping up that. Oh, yeah, yeah he's keeping up the full combo. Okay. Yeah, Aurora is a little bit behind because of this. Oh god, that SV section coming up, oh no! <laughs> it's really intimidating. It's, it's menacingly just slowly approaching. All right, Aurora, oh, oh no! Miss. This is Aurora's pick, this is huge for Ethelux. He is dropping a little bit of accuracy though, but Aurora is dropping combo like crazy! Yeah, uh, probably nerfs here. Ethelux is dropping accuracy too, but not his combo. And he and does no, full combo. Oh, the full combo from Ethelux, 980k, 7 100s. Aurora That's actually a, getting lower yeah. accuracy, it's just those misses all added up. 7-100s is pretty close to the best card on this map so far, I think. And now Ethelix with the pick, gonna be going with Hidden 2 instantly. Yeah, this is really a Hidden Act gaming map. Now, Aurora's been winning the SS battles, but, like, just ACK battles where it isn't SS only? Ethelix has been kind of gaming on those, which is quite interesting yeah. to see. I'm curious to see how something like DT1 would go, because... Oh, yeah! Aurora seems more stable on higher BPM, but Ethelix seems to have better accuracy in general. Something like a tech or ACK DT? Aurora... Ethelix might just be able to crush it. If he's used to, like, the offset of DT. Yeah. Alright, there we go. actually did hold on through the intro, which honestly one of the hardest fights in the map. Yeah, he's holding some really solid accuracy so far. Let's see if I can continue on the second half. Oh, he's gonna drop the SS, but still holding really good accuracy. Has to be really careful, especially because there's a one third section coming up. Aurora's accuracy is slowly climbing. Oh, oh I Aurora. do not. Was that client sided? I do not know. No, I think he did end up choking. That, yeah, that looked like a legit miss actually, but that was very weird. Just because the client decided to lag spike right then and there. Yeah, it can be a bit hard to tell, but now Ethelix is running away with it a bit. Yeah, and those misses right there are just gonna allow Ethelux to just get a really quick win. And oh my god, that accuracy from Ethelux. How many hundreds is that? Four one hundreds. He is just crushing this pool. Yeah, again, very close to being one of the best scorers on this map. 
you see these scores and you're saying like, he's, oh, Ethelix must be like a rank like 100 or something. He's like rank 380 global. Yeah, he's like low 300. Some players are just like that. Like, Dude, he, like... he's just built different. I wish I was as built as different as Ethelux. Yeah, you can't build quite different until like 600. Oh wow, he picks so quickly. Uh, Freema too. Oh, and yet again, Aurora gonna be going hidden, Hard Rock, Ethelix just hidden. Yeah, this one, I don't know, Freemod 1 is kind of hard on that Hard Rock, but this one is not really as hard. Okay, Ethelix is just gonna have to hope for a miss from Aurora once again. But unfortunately, I don't think my commentary curse powers are good enough to do that. It is good enough to make him drop to the 100s, but not a miss this time. Yeah, the slow section can be very difficult on him, actually. So, Ethelix only through is really impressive. The skull kits didn't sound like that. You do kind of sound like that. Oh, oh no! What? On the slow section too, that is so unfortunate. Now he's gonna need to rely on Aurora missing like even more. Like if Aurora just misses once, he's fine. But like he that's like he's gonna need Aurora to like note lock or something. To be able to constantly yeah. win this pick. Yeah, he's a drop down club, I think seven. This is looking good for Aurora so far, but we'll have to see. Oh no, more misses from Ethelux! Now this is looking like it's just gonna go right over to Aurora. Yeah, this has been an excellent pick so far. Still at above 99%. Yeah, Aurora has so much breathing room right now. Yeah, it's pretty much the end of all the hard parts of the map, really. Just imagine, one of these players will be in the loser's division after this. Oh my god. <laughs> the loser's division honestly looks terrifying. I would not want to be there. Every, every player that's heard of it is terrifying. Yeah, that is that is true. Oh my god, yeah, Aurora with 1200 full combo. Oh, the accuracy from Ethelox is so good, but unfortunately, even if he SS, Aurora with the hidden hard rock advantage is just, yeah, it's just too much. Ethelox now with the pick. It looks like it might have to go over to tiebreaker, to be honest. It's now 4-4. Four to four. Both the players just keep on swapping picks. And no Ethelox mod going five. in all mod 5. No one five is banned. Oh, no one five is banned. Oh, oh or baby, no one three. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> My brain read this. No one three. <laughs> And before, he, and before he was gonna pick Nomad 3 next, he, the ref just read his mind. It's just like, yeah. I know exactly. Oh, DT1! Oh, okay, I'm interested in this. Yeah, we were talking about this a bit earlier. How, like, yeah, this could be a really interesting pick. And since Ethelex picked this, he's definitely gonna look to be confident with DT accuracy. I have no idea how this could go. I think I could definitely see both players being above 99, though. Roar with the early accuracy lead. Roar holding some really good DT accuracy. Like, usually I kind of have to, like, warm up a little bit before hopping on DT or something. Play like one map at DT before. Roar is able to hop into it straight away. 
Yeah, honestly, neither player having any issues at all. Oh, uh, as I say, that Eflex does drop like 300. This might actually backfire pretty hard on Ethelux. Although it's... he is climbing accuracy a little bit, he's up at 99 now. It's still really close. Oh, Roar dropped it. Yeah, another 100. Oh, uh, now it's like two 100 difference. Oh, Roar dropping oh, more 100s. Now it's one 100 difference. It's a one 100 difference. Oh, God. Oh, that looks dropped 100, though. Aurora's dropping quite a bit, it's gonna start flickering, but Aurora's Oh my god! Lead. Oh, Ethelix now with the lead! Oh my this god! This is so close! Okay, okay I- it's close, The stream close, section, actually. stream section. Oh my god. Aurora dropping more hundreds! Getting into the last section, it is still so close! Oh Aurora my god! Up a <laughs> Oh, but both are missing, actually! But Ethel likes dropping his accuracy so far down! Oh, no! Oh, my god, that one stream has caught so many players. Oh, my goodness, and that looks like it's going to go with Aurora! Ethel likes these Aurora just randomly drop, but Aurora's pretty, been pretty consistent, and yeah, that's the end of the map. A breakpoint for Aurora! That was so hard fought. I don't know if any player has any idea how close that was for all of it. Oh my god. That was so close! Uh, if Ethelux did not drop his accuracy whenever he missed, it might have gone over to him. Or if he just didn't miss. Oh, that was way too close. Yeah, also both players tanked accuracy on that stream as well. Yeah. All right, now Aurora moving straight into the double time. These players are really quick at readying up. <laughs> they just instantly you, hop into the next map. You love to see it. They have all their picks prepared. They don't have internet problems. They're not getting banned by Banjo randomly. <laughs> Did that happen earlier this weekend? Uh, that happened in 3 2 Oh, yeah, Someone yeah, that happened in the way. Got silenced. Yeah, do not spam A enter on your keyboard more than six times because you tend to get banned if you do that. Yeah, and it gets much, much longer. Pro Strat, do that if you're running late and didn't have enough time to practice. You'd be like, oh, well, guys, can we please delay uh -huh. for 10 minutes? <laughs> <laughs> Just use it to warm up. <laughs> oh, that's Omega Brain. That I've is. Never thought of doing that. Dude, someone's gonna do that. Oh no, Ethelux picking up an early miss. If someone does that, dude, that is such a Giga Brain idea that I just came up with in my mind. Someone's, someone's had to have done that before. Please. Someone's going to do that eventually. But yeah. Someone's gonna do that eventually. Someone is watching the stream. I guess go do that if you want. <laughs> uh, I, I should not be endorsing this. <laughs> yeah. Aurora is just. Much stronger accuracy on these faster picks. Yeah, I have to look struggling a bit on some of these patterns at the speed. Yeah, if Aurora does win this, then he will at worst tie and will have an opportunity to win. Oh yeah, there's no tiebreaker. It's yeah, it's technically a best out of twelve. Yeah, if you get to Aurora six six, potentially confirming just one point for himself at the very least. I don't know. I think that's how it works. Yeah, it's a uh, one for a win and point five for a draw. Kinda close though. If Aurora randomly misses, it could flip over. Oh! Oh my oh god! My god. Oh, oh my god! Oh my god! No! Oh my god! He's still missing! Oh my god! No! 
No! Aurora! I'm I sorry! I don't know if that's enough time. Wait, there's but... not enough map. There's... Oh, oh my god, no! I have to No! What is that timing? Oh no way! What kind of dark magic voodoo <laughs> stuff are you, are you using right now? What is, dude, I don't know right now. I oh, tried my no. hardest to curse him and it just- he kept up. <laughs> oh my god, the script <laughs> writers. Guys, that wasn't a part of the script. Ethelix was meant to like, FC the rest of the map. Oh uh, no. I, w I wonder, would he have won? Five business is so much. I think he could that have been really close. I think it would have been a couple thousand, or it would have been a win for Ethelox. It would have been really close either way. That is so unfortunate for Ethelox, and now Aurora confirming himself. 0.5 points. All right. Now he's going to be <laughs> one over one. the win. Hidden one. Ethelox is going to be trying to get the tie off of this. He does need to get a breakpoint, though, after this in order to confirm himself the tie. Fortunately, most of the other maps, I think, are pretty unclear. No more double tie. No more hard rock. Or, well, hard rock one. Oh, hard rock one is still in the play. I didn't even think about that. That is yeah. probably what Aurora's gonna pick next. The thing is, Ethelox has some pretty crazy accuracy. Even on mods, he's not comfy with the hard rock. Yeah, he did so well on Hard Rock 3 for accuracy that Hard Rock 1 is probably not going to be an issue for him. Yeah, it's just his miscount was quite unfortunate, and I can't tell if it was due to reading or nerves for the miscount. But generally, if you can't read it that well, you aren't getting 4 100, so I don't know. I guess yeah. he's just built different. It's just built different. Both of these players, honestly, have been very consistent. Yeah, this is a really consistent match. Like, both players have been playing really good. The main difference has been coming down to like one or two misses or just a couple of hundreds. Still tied though. Consistency, yeah. Both of them are Imagine if this is actually a tie, though. <laughs> oh my god, I would freak out if we saw a non Oh no! Two tie off! Ethelok's gonna be dropping the first 100, and Aurora has been assessing a lot of maps lately. Can it Will be he do it again? Will it be a third map SS in just this set by one player? Oh no, Ethelok's dropping a ton of accuracy on that 1 3. We're still holding the SS. Still quite close if Aurora just randomly gets a couple of hundreds. Oh, Aurora dropping the SS, but Ethelox needs way oh, more yeah. hundreds. No, Ethelox! This is still really close. This is still so close. Yeah, there's still like a third of the map left. Oh, jeez. Aurora dropping a hundred on the slow section, but Ethelox trades it right away. Ethelox keeps on trading these 100s, and it's really... It's keeping, it's allowing Roar to keep up this lead. I'm just on the edge of my seat right now. <laughs> I'm terrible. Yeah, dude, I can't, like, I can barely, like, commentate this. It's so insanely close! I think it's like oh two my. or three 100s right now. Yeah, it's like two or three. We're getting to the last section of the map. Will anyone drop? Will Aurora just take this right here, right now? Or will this set continue? And Aurora just doesn't care. Really just taking his lead and running with it. There's still a little bit more map left. Oh, both players oh, are yeah. the exact same note. And there's not enough map oh, left. Aurora God. takes it and wins the set. Seven to four. Oh, I got three 100s. I oh, score the line. nerves! Oh my god, the scoreline really doesn't tell the whole story. There's so many maps that were just... <laughs> this could've easily gone over to Ethelux or just been a tie. 
Oh my goodness. E Ethelux, dude. Whoever has to go against Ethelux next week, dude, watch out. He is yeah. a scary accuracy player. Oh my god. Loser's division is so scary right now with these players. This is such a stacked tournament. It's crazy. Alright, next we're going to have, I believe, the uh, challenge stream with Vath. Yeah, so. GG's to both players. Good luck to them in their future matches. Yeah, that's the last actual match of this week.